Hi everybody. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. So I'm going to make some mint tea. This is chocolate mint. People make peppermint tea for nausea and whatnot. And it's mint. All of it's mint. Chocolate mint is just as good. I thought maybe you'd like to make some mint tea with me. Anyway, it's really easy to make. Go out there and grab you some... See if I can find the camera. Grab you some mint. This is what it looks like. This is chocolate mint. I really like it. I have peppermint too, but I have a whole lot more of this. And I can just reach over the fence and get it. What you do is you pluck off all the leaves. Well, probably not all of them, but to pluck the leaves. I don't use the stems usually. I don't suppose hurt anything, but a lot of times they have a little little uh little dead pieces of leaf and whatnot and they don't really need to make tea out of that I don't think it's not necessary I get the very ends of them a lot of times this time of the year they're trying to bloom which is nice I'll make tea out of the blooms too it's all good it's all good and it's supposed to do all kinds of stuff, but amongst other things, it helps to fight nausea, and I know it does, because I've done it before. One of the reasons I grow it. Sometimes, you don't even have to have the tea, just the smell, just the aroma of the peppermint, or of the mint, actually. But this does smell like chocolate mint. That, that's just exactly what it smells like if you've ever oh sniffed a little bit of chocolate mint ice cream I guess it smells like that taste if you can too bad we don't have smell o vision alrighty now I'm going to just kind of chop this up a little bit you really don't have to but if you bruise it a little and I don't have a mortar and pestle I used to but don't anymore I've lost track of it but uh, if you bruise it a little, scar it a little, it'll uh, release more of the flavors and the oils. You're going to have to have this going in uh, simmer in water for 15-20 uh, minutes for your tea. That's enough. And I probably shouldn't, but what I do is put it in the microwave. And uh, cook it in there. And then, if it's not strong enough, I zap it again. There's your, there's your mint. There's my bottle or my jar. In there. You can make it as strong or as weak or whatever. And a lot of times people will use peppermint to settle a child's stomach because it's it's real gentle. It isn't harsh. So just a, a teaspoon of peppermint tea. You wanna sweeten it with a little honey or sugar. Um anyway, I'll put a little water in this. You can see already it's starting to turn it green. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. Be back after a while. You'll see how it works. But you'll be able to tell. Okay. Be back in a minute. Okay. The uh, tea has been boiling and steeping. And it's still really hot. Be really careful if you do this because this jar will burn the heck out of you. And it'll look something like that. You can see it in there. See the peppermint on the bottom? You can smell it. Mmm. You can smell the mint. They're not peppermint. I keep calling it peppermint. It's chocolate mint. But you can smell the chocolate. You can smell the mint. It's kind of a greeny color. You can get a strainer. I probably won't 
I don't have enough room in that cup for everybody. For everything. Put a little strainer over there so I don't have to drink the tea leaves. This is actually just herbal tea. It's easy to make with nearly any kind of herb you want to try it with. I'm not real sure I'd want to drink basil. But, whatever. You know, suits your fancy. Okay. I'm going to pour it in there. Even just the smell of it made my stomach feel better. As a matter of fact, it feels so good that I made a couple eggs and some cinnamon toast to eat with my mint tea. So it is, and I like a little bit of sugar. And there's your chocolate mint tea. I still have a little bit left over. Those leaves will just sit there and they'll steep and they'll make that stronger and stronger. I'll wrap it up, put it back in there. Ooh, got a leaf. Gotta have a leaf. I suppose you could read your tea leaves if you knew how. Maybe I'll learn how to do that. That might be kind of fun. Especially for herbal tea. I wonder if herbal tea leaf reading is any different than... Hmm. Anyway, that's all. Everybody have a good day. I'm going to go eat my breakfast, lunch, supper, whatever. Food. And uh, get over whatever it is that ails me. I'll talk to you all later. TTFN. Peace, love, joy, happiness, all that good stuff.